Hey guys, it's Kara with the bag holder as well as today's living and I am going to show you how to do crock pot spaghetti sauce. Now let me tell you, you do not have to cook the meat ahead of time. You can use fresh vegetables if you want. You know that I'm all about convenience, but I'm gonna give you the alternative as well. Now, you just saw my crock pot. Easily, easily, I have thrown in a pound of ham hamburger and a pound of sausage, mild sausage. That's it, no, it is not cooked. I don't have time to cook it. You do not have to cook it if you're gonna throw it in your crock pot and you have about six to eight hours to leave it on medium, medium high. Um, and that's what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do. I have to work this afternoon, just like many of you do. This is a great way to throw it in, one step, one dish. Now, we've got the, the one pound sausage, one pound hamburger. We're gonna use a can of tomatoes. This has actually a little seasoning, basil, garlic, and oregano. You can have it however. Now, if you're not gonna use, if you wanna use fresh tomatoes, then you wanna do two whole large like beef steak tomatoes, um, but you wanna mash them or slice them. They're gonna cook down just like this. So we're gonna pour that into the crock pot. Then we're going to do a jar of sauce. Now, if you don't, if you wanna make your own sauce, then you wanna do uh, two cans of this, one can of tomato sauce, and then one can of tomato paste. Got that? Ask me a question if you know. If you're gonna do it simple like me, these were buy one, get one free, I'm putting one jar of spaghetti sauce just like this. Actually, I, I put you on hold so I can move this so you can see what I'm doing. Now we're gonna do a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I always open it over whatever I'm gonna pour it into because somehow I always seem to make a mess and it spills. So again, I'm just teaching you time management skills to make your life easier and you have absolutely no cleanup in the kitchen but you still have good food. We're gonna do a half a tablespoon of garlic. I know, insane. This is a full tablespoon, yes, that just means you fill it halfway. Again, time management, minimize the steps, minimize the mess. We're going to do a splash of salt, literally a splash. You can do a fake salt alternative. I'm just doing a splish splash, excellent. Now we're going to do a half a cup of mushrooms. Here's my half cup, I'm gonna fill it. These are my frozen mushrooms, I wanna show you this. These are like flash frozen, frozen. I can't speak today, I'm in a hurry, can you tell? But these are flash frozen. So the ones that you buy in the produce store, exact same thing. They have not been canned, they have not been processed, nothing's been on them to keep them fresh. They slice them and freeze them and they're ready to go. So those are great staples to have around the house. Now we're gonna do the same thing, a half a cup of the seasoning blend. You know that this is, I'm gonna show this to you. It is your seasoning blend. It has peppers, onions, and celery already inside it. So you don't need to do anything. And again, you always have it, it never goes bad. I'm gonna pour a half a cup of that right into our sauce. And guess what? I'm done. I'm gonna pop a lid on it. I'm gonna fix it and forget about it and we are good to go. Now every couple hours or every four hours, you may wanna stir it if you happen to be around, but if you're not, don't stress. You're probably going, oh, that's not enough liquid. Well, as the juice and the meat cooks down, yes, it's gonna have a little grease in it. You can drain that off easily with a spoon, or if you're gonna freeze this, which is a great way to do this, freeze it. When you put it in the fridge for a couple hours, the grease will automatically come to the top. So. That is fix it and forget it. You do not have to cook it and we are done and good to go. We'll see you in about six hours with the finished product. I just wanna show you a quick picture of it cooking. You can see I did mix it up about 20 minutes into it and now I'm gonna leave it literally and not touch it. The frozen veggies that I threw in, the fresh uh, flash frozen veggies, will add a little water to build um, the liquid so I don't have to worry about anything. I have this on medium right now and it'll cook for about four to six hours. So this is our finished product. It's been about four and a half hours now, and it is fully cooked and delicious. Oh my gosh, it tastes so, so good. I'm gonna show you here. This is so thick. And see, this is a great, this, this sauce is gonna make fantastic baked ziti sauce. I think that's what I'm gonna do, is whip up some ziti, add a little ricotta, and some mozzarella, and mix this all in there, but I wanted to show you how easy it is and it can be done. No need to waste time cooking the beef. Just cook it in the crock pot and it's good to go. Thanks so much for watching. Visit us on facebook.com slash tlfamily, facebook.com slash bag holder. And please, 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 if you like any of our videos, subscribe. We have over 180 videos. OMG, I think I need a new camera. 
All right, guys and gals, have a great night.